Okay guys, today I got a 21 year old watch dealer and he's going to show me a 500k watch collection. We start off right, we go with the Submariner, the full yellow gold, stunning blue dial. This is the reference number 116618LB. LB refers to the blue dial. The next watch maybe I would introduce very very special day date. It's a black dial, factory set diamond day date. They call it a uh, day date, right? It's because you have the date function and also the day function. So this is actually a solid rose gold Daytona with a the market leather strap. Together with the rose gold bracelet, this will be high 60s to 70s. This will be this Rolex date just with a very, very special model of pearl dial with factory set diamonds. This right now, you cannot find one available to buy in the watch market it's safe to say that this watch can go anywhere around 40 to 50 or even more based on the customers liking they can offer up to even six digits another special watch here full gold rolex zenith daytona stunning gold dial with factory diamond dial back then when rolex didn't have their own chronograph movement they used a third-party watch brand called zenith ever since they stopped the collaboration and Rolex has been using their own in-house movement. The Rolex Zenith Daytona is super collectible. Sooner or later, this will be a six-figure watch as well. And then over here, you can see a range of different watches. This two will be Yachtmaster 40mm, Yachtmaster 2. Here we have three different Half Gold Daytonas. Both of these are very special as well. So they are both Mother of Pearl Daytona. One with diamonds and one without. And there we have Half Gold GMT. These two trays alone can cost anywhere around $500,000. What does it take to afford like all these like watches? I think I always had that entrepreneur mindset when I was younger. I always had small business here and there in school. I used to sell shoes, shoe boxes in fact. I queued for limited edition shoes, bought them at $350, sold them at $1,000, $1,000 plus. That is when I realized that actually there is more than just academics. I managed to get into the watch industry based on interest i slowly build up my collection and right now i'm running a dealer company mm -hmm. so we buy sell trade um, of luxury watches called bentime pieces so you can check us out thanks so much man thank you bro